Welcome, welcome everybody to the stream. Good morning. My name is Chris Reed and thank you for joining us here today in our stream. We have uh, some good people in the stream and right now we want to just make a shout out real quick to Mr. Frosty Beats. It is his birthday today. Happy birthday to you, man. I hope you're having a good one so far. Chuck G is in the building. Peace to the fam. A uh, long time no see, but you know what I'm saying? It's good to see you. Sasha is in the building as well. So good people to start us off. I see some other people are in here. Please be sure to do all of that good stuff uh, that you guys can do to help spread this uh, live stream and grow this channel and by that you know what we mean you know what we talking about we talking about all of the thumbs and all of the bells and all of the comments and all of the chats all of that good stuff somebody told me somewhere that you're not actually supposed to say you're not supposed to tell you know people to do it uh in your live stream but nonetheless you know what i'm saying uh, if you guys can help out with that, that would be awesome. We do have a couple different people watching right now. And we also took this poll that I want to show you guys about reason. What makes reason so unique? And right now in our poll, we have a couple different answers. Um, right now, 67 percent uh, is saying that it is the rack which makes reason so unique uh, after that, it's the players. So nothing unique about the mixer, nothing unique about the instruments. Right now, most people are saying the rack and the players. Um, I think that's interesting that that's the that that's the uh, answer that we're getting from our poll. Uh, that is the rack and the players. I think players for sure is one of those things um, that was out there that uh, different software developers, music makers, you know, they were creating their own players if you would midi note generators they was creating these things as vsts that you could add on to your other instruments in your DAW, and um they were creating those things and reason said you know we're gonna just make a whole atmosphere of them we're gonna make a whole collection of them um and so i think the players is definitely something unique especially because when you look at other vsts and other DAWs, you know they don't have built in in players like these they don't have midi node generators like these they have some different things that you can do um, in terms of modulation and sequencing but in order to have something but in order to have something like scales and chords they don't have much like that uh, I know some some programs uh, give you the ability to see your scales and see your chords or even like set your set your um, project into a certain key but that doesn't mean that it locks everything into that key you know it just kind of means that it it gives you the overall oh this is the key the project is supposed to be in you could kind of set everything like that but that doesn't mean that uh it, it is actually true um so sasha sasha says for me it's instruments let me see this real quick. Sasha says, for me, it's instruments. Uh, we saw Chris making beat from stock instruments. Exactly. I mean, all of the instruments, right? Um, um, the last two live streams, we did beat cookups with every single instrument inside of Reason. All of the stock instruments, I would say. Every single stock instrument. Last stream was every stock instrument plus every effect. Um, the instruments are great, definitely awesome for sound design and and great for like starting projects and starting ideas with your music making. Are those BX8s? No, these are BX5s. I wish they were BX8s, but no, they are BX5. Let me see. Where's my chat? How come I can't see my chat up in this thing? I'm supposed to be able to see my chat, but for some reason, the chat is not coming up. Let me see if I if I pop, pop this guy up. Mm -mm. I'll get overall you overlay. So, no, these are these are BX files. Haven't had a chance to actually upgrade or update any of my 
uh, real like studio equipment. Um, when I look at this stuff, I'm looking at stuff that I've had for many, many years. Um, I, I got, I purchased both of the, um, I purchased both the, oh, here, here we go. Oh, okay, good, good. So it's working now. I purchased both these monitors as well as the focus right and the cables for them, <laughs> like everything, pretty much all at the same time. And um, I've had the same ones for, you know, all of these years. So I uh, haven't, you know, haven't stepped up my game in terms of the monitors or anything like that. So these are the fives. You know, I think before I go to the eights, I might actually go to something else like Yamaha's. I might go to the Yamaha. What is it like HS? Um, I think that's what they what they title theirs. I like the Yamaha's uh, not only for the look, but also like whenever I have heard them in the studio. Or I heard them like my buddy. He had a pair. I should ask him if he actually using them, because if he not, I could just grab his. But every time I've heard them, they've been like really solid, really good. So um, looking at our poll here, get, getting a, a look at our poll here, um, it's actually pushing now toward the rack. So players not even looking that um, interested at all, but now more so moving toward the rack side of things. Um Adams, yeah, but I know the Adams are, are, are a lot pricier. I think they're 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 the pricier ones. And one thing that I had to like check myself about, like with in terms of like gear and like buying new stuff and you know wanting stuff for the studio, I had to um I had to realize that I'm in this garage. It's not well tuned. It's not well treated. I have a few things in here that, you know, kind of help me. But this is not the environment for like listening with monitors. I actually realized that uh, the other day I was listening and I was like looking at the placement. You guys remember those studio rescues? Uh, I can't remember the guy, but his name Studio Rescue. Look it up on YouTube when you have some time. The Studio Rescue, he would be like, "Yeah, you gotta be in the in the apex of the triangle of your speakers. So you need to have an equal triangle, and you need to have the apex of the. That's your sweet spot. And I'm not in this. I can't get a sweet spot in here, man. The way things is, the way the walls are, it's it's crazy. I do have like a bunch of like studio foam there. I got some padding. I got some moving blankets. I got a whole wall uh, uh, of a uh, studio foam on this side. And I have right above me, I have like this, this isolation like pad that's like up there that I built, which is basically just like a wood frame with some insulation in the middle, you know, some lights up there to give me like a nice little vibe and cut down on some of those frequencies bouncing up and down. But with all of that, you know, it's still like the space is just so huge. So what am I saying? Like if it was the if it was the like the question of, hey, are we going to spend a bunch of money on? Are we going to spend a bunch of money on new equipment? Or are we going to spend money on making sure that the place that like for like this, this desk here, for example, like the desk that I'm using, like this is not this is not, you know, optimal for, you know, music making. This desk was like supposedly I think it was for like, I don't know, gaming or like something like that. Like it's like a regular computer desk, but it's not a studio desk. I don't have room or placement for like a rack or like a mount or anything like that. So um it's like those things it was like all right yeah we're gonna spend i would i would spend on that i wouldn't spend on the on the monitors because i don't like playing the music out loud that much i actually like using my headphones more so if anything i would like grab headphones i would maybe grab like a, a newer pair of headphones but i use these i use these uh audio technica i use these headphones and i've seen these headphones popping up like a lot like they they pop up everywhere and they're very recognizable because they got that nice little silver ring here 
very recognizable, very good pair of uh, studio headphones here and um, a great price for them as well. And I just bring that up to say, like, man, I, uh, without like getting super deep with the headphone situation, I don't know how I could get better than that. You know, uh, I don't know how I could get better than, um, you know, what we're already paying for. Frosty B says he he lives for the studio design. I think that's definitely something I don't I, I like seeing other people designs and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, it's cool because this space has like evolved over time. It started off literally as like man cave. Like I had a projector in here with a pull down screen and, you know, it was just more about coming in, doing the, having a vibe, having a place to hang out, watch TV and like chill, play games. I would play my switch in here more than I would like make music. That's how it started off. You know what I'm saying? The first week or so. And then more and more, I was like, OK, now I can start bringing out the musical instruments because I got more space for them. So I start bringing out the musical instruments, uh, you know, my keyboards and my guitars and everything like that. Start pulling that stuff out because I had more space for it. And then it really started to look at it and say, yeah, like this could be a cool studio, you know. So that's when we started kind of trying to do some different stuff along the studio side of things. But um, also, yeah, then, of course, like the drum set like my dad you know he's like hey, he wants to play drums i want to play drums i want to play drums before i die chris you know he's saying all this stuff and so he's like you know let's buy a drum set and so uh we bought the drum set and of course you know he's probably played on it how many ever times he's played on it i've probably played on it five times more because it's here with me and you know he doesn't you know live with me or whatever but he didn't have room in, in his uh, in his living situation. So all of that to say, you know, the more musical instruments that kept coming around and being surrounded by the more it just kind of turned this place into like a music space into a place to make music. So. Super cool. So in the morning, I had my little oatmeal, had me some water, a little porridge. A little something to get us started, get us going. And now we finna take off. So let me end this poll real quick. It says we had what makes reason so unique? Somebody, said, oh, it ain't unique. The rack. The rack is what makes reason so unique. If it was not for this rack. Um, what will we have to say about it in at all? Almost as though we might say it's just like any other doll. And I think you would be right about that. I think the rack definitely makes, um, it's, it's, uh, it's format the most unique compared to other dolls that you could use. What do we mean by that? When you're looking at reason, you're looking at this rack, you're looking at how the instruments come together. I hope y'all can't hear this dog. I'm getting ready to go in there and and be like Charlie Brown in a second. Hopefully I can hear this dog going crazy. The instruments, how you can just, you know, drop instruments into the rack, but also the uniqueness of how this rack, you know, works together, all of the patching and cabling that you can do. Of course, we know that's what makes it, you know, unique. It's because no other uh, doll is centered um, in that way. Uh, everything is just kind of like computer based. I even was taking a look at um, the rack. I mean, not the rack. Uh, computer, stop. Of course, I named my Alexa cpu so now anytime i say cpu you think i'm talking to it but um i was looking at um ableton for example ableton basically was like oh like the volume like it's no kind of like knobs or anything like that it's just like a digital interface like it's just like a digital you know drag it up drag it down kind of thing it's just like a little little subtle differences like that that make you say you know why 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 does reason have the 
you know, the faders for volume. Why do they have faders for volume and knobs and things like that? And I think it's because, you know, it kind of makes sense that, you know, that's what those things should look like as opposed to like just like a graphical thing that you could just increase or decrease or whatever, or even just like numbers for that matter. But um, this is not just about. Uh, you know, what makes reason interesting and all of that. We're going to actually get into some beats. So I'm going to crack on my headphones. Frosty, man, when you're on these lunch breaks, man, you know what I'm saying? Talk talk to your guy more, man. Let me know what you're going through. Uh, but, um, you know, and then um, hopefully we'll see you back in here later. Um, Because I always spend, I, I've been spending like the first... I've been spending like the first hour or so just pretty much on um, conversating, conversating, conversing and talking to the chat and, you know, letting people come in and hang out, you know, kind of going over what's going on. But I'm glad you was able to step in for a quick second. Let's do something different. Let's set us up for success and not failure. Today, I want to use some cheat codes. Uh, today, I want to make this super, super easy, right? I want to make this process of beat making easy. This is what uh, makes reason unique and easy to me. If I'm coming in like, hey, I need to know how to use reason to make beats. I want to know how to use reason to make beats. What do I need to do, Chris, in order to do that? I'm going to tell you, you need to go into reason. You need to load up a piano. OK, whatever piano you want to load up. They got the ID8 piano. NNXT has a piano. They have a radical piano. They have processed pianos. Whichever piano you want to load up, okay? Load up a piano. And after you load up that piano, I want you to load up this scales and chords, okay? I just, scales and chords. Now, for me, I'm somebody where it's like, hey, I, I can play these chords. You know, I can play these chords. Turn this off real quick. Let me do that again. But if you're not a type of person that's like, you're going to play chords, like if that's not you, then use scales and chords, okay? Like, it's nothing wrong with using scales and chords. That's what it's made for, you know what I'm saying? Just like, uh, <laughs> just like Usher told you, that's what it's made for. So when we load up these scales and chords, we're going to, you know, we're going to find a scale and chord that we like. Now, let's just like, like, like let's set some, some ground rules for some, some typical stuff. If you're making a pop song, something that's pop, something that is, you know, in the vein of this is what you would hear, you know, on the radio or this is what you would hear, you know, on certain stations. If you're making a pop, stay in the major scale, okay? Choose a key, whatever key, but stay in the major scale. And now you can just play around with your keys and find you a uh, chord progression. But even if you wanted to make that easier on yourself, you could do something like add in a quad note generator or I, I like adding in quad note generator, but I actually wanted to go to poly step sequencer. That's the one for me. If you set your poly step sequencer, and you set them to the same thing. Set this to a flat, uh, a flat, which would be. Where is A flat? G sharp. I'm sorry. Set this to the same thing. G sharp major. So now we're playing the same thing. Um, and what we want to do is, you know, put this in a certain order. So now you can create, you know, chord progressions.
Now, what what is a chord progression? A chord progression is moving between these different chords at a certain rhythm. Usually, you're going to use four. Usually, you use four chords. Sometimes, you might use three. Sometimes, you might use two, right? Just depends on what your vibe that you're going on, you know, what you want to do with it. If it's pop, you're, you're going to want to use four chords and you're going to want to have your chord progression look something like this. Something going low, something going high, something going low, something going high. And then you want to play with, you know, your, your tempo of this, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want this to be so... And then once you have that, I don't even know what it's playing. Is it playing the uh, process piano? It is playing process piano. And once you have that, you know, then you can you, you could keep that piano. You could you could you could double that up if you want it, or you could just go into like you know a different kind of sound, a different kind of a synth or something like that because you know synth is like where it's at now, right? you can do you can just hit send the track right you hit that send the track button and now you got everything right here so now you got your chords that you just made and now you can just copy them to the other piano and maybe you change this and make this lower If you got two pianos and you got a chord progression, now you can just now you can bring in that quad note generator. Make sure you change it to your same scale. Let's go major pentatonic. But we're not going to keep that as a piano. We're going to change that to some kind of synth as well. Maybe like a pluck. Maybe like a pluck or something like that. And then for this quad note generator, like make it easy on yourself and just choose something that they've already made. Or you can come up with your own, like you can set your own parameters in here of course but i think that's what makes reason unique and i think like in terms of like a tutorial like that would be something that i would like tell somebody to do first it's like get into these reason players and let them like get into these reason players that's too abstract we don't want that that's too abstract get into these reason players and let them do it for you
Exactly. I used it right here. Pentatonic. Major pentatonic. It really helps. The pentatonic just only uses certain parts of the um pentatonic uses certain parts of the scale, right? Only like these major five parts of the scale. It doesn't so it doesn't include those uh like if you're looking at it. It doesn't include those dissonant notes. It just includes like these. It just includes these whole tones. So it, it takes out some of those tones. So yes, but I think it was, but I'm just looking at like the sound. Like, I'm just, like, I haven't found a sound out like. You know, as you move on, move along with, you know, creating this, you know, like this, this, uh, you know, the base of whatever it is that you're doing, you know, add in some more sounds and some bass. But now we have these chords. We could just take out the tops of these chords. And now we just have just the bass lines of these chords. <laughs> So now me, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a weird kind of guy. Like, I like that. I like I like the way that sounds <laughs> like that sounds good to me. <laughs> so I would just keep going. And um, kind of with this bass kind of sounds drum and bassy. Kind of sounds drum and bassy. I think we were kind of going more for like a, a pop, a pop kind of sound, but. And then because you use like players, you could like go back into the players and like change the different. Uh, you could change the different uh, keys and scales and chords and things that they are in you could change them. Um, but I'm gonna just keep going with this guy. very like let's change that bass actually
he said, or that. <laughs> it's interesting like i have like a go-to i have like go-to patches that i like to use in in like certain tracks or like just like to use in general but sometimes i just like to just browse you know sometimes i just like to just browse through and see what i'll get and it's like oh yeah you know it's so many different sounds and and instruments and stuff so it's just kind of like oh yeah let's just browse and just see what we'll get <music> good Ashley doing good man how you doing yeah yeah that's 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 a vibe right there okay that works that that works right there I like that let's make a new one a little pop like Rihanna. Today it is. Today is better because I've been working on it. I've been actually like doing a lot of stuff to try to like work on it. So today is better, but not, not normally. Yeah. I was just I just made a video the other day. I said, "Oh, um, don't ask me why I named this beat this way." <laughs> uh, I just named it that way. It's just like how I met your mother or something like that. But I'm trying to be a little more, you know, strategic about it. 
I might do like a more specific melody here with this little stat. Talented peoples. What's up, Raging Oracle, man? You the talented one. So, dun, 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 dun. Oh, why is not playing? Okay, it's doing something now. Something a little more specific, a little more, you know. Something a little more uh, uh, on purpose is, is what I would say. Uh, Guten Morgen, um, Mike. Um, uh, v Gates. V Gates. Da ist gut. Um, uh, not ich bin gut. That don't, that's not what you say. You just say, uh, uh, sehr gut. Yeah, yeah, we can say that. But yeah, Guten Morgen. Uh, ich bin Faulinsen. So good, danke, danke shin, danke shin, yeah, 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 danke shin, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm practicing for when reason, uh, you know, sends me to Sweden. You know, what I'm saying I can have a language that I can speak. <laughs> I can have a language I can not be sorry. I can have a language that I can speak over there. Something, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't let my wife come in here. My wife get it. My wife will come in here and have a full conversation with you. So this is a nice little skeleton. Like this is a nice little. Uh, they'll see you straight back. I know I'm. I'm saying. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that they speak. I'm just saying like I gotta have some language. Like the languages are similar, so it's like you know. I know it's not, but it's like I gotta be able to say something. You know, <laughs> I gotta be able to say something. Oh man. So oh, you're right. I, I guess I got some. So I got some more learning to do. I swear, you and Seth are the only ones keeping me in Reason Studio. So to you, Reason Gang. Hey, appreciate that, man. Stephanie definitely is showing the, the tricks of the trade, man. Definitely showing you know how you can get some get that sound man you know what i'm saying you can get that sound and true i appreciate anything i can do to help let me know uh hopefully i'm just a i'm just a, a guy making some music and i'm low-key mad about like how this one like is coming out because i was like two seconds from like just deleting the whole thing y'all see i hadn't saved it yet I mean, I'll be making stuff. I don't be saving it. I don't save it until I feel like I got something from it. Like, but it's a nice little skeleton. It's a nice little skeleton right here. Music and English. That's hilarious. Nah, you can't retract it. I see it. I saw it already. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. But I feel you. Okay, music and English. That's the, that's the main languages. 
Hey, hey, that's a big compliment, man. I appreciate you. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to get there. I appreciate that, Ashley. That's a big compliment. It means a lot. Now I'm like, I'm like, I'll be in my head. I'll be thinking about it like, okay. You know how to do like some things. You can do some stuff in reason. Um, but it's just kind of like, um, it's more than just what you can do in reason. It's like, it's the music side of things, right? It's the music side of things. Like I can't, you can't let go of all the other stuff where it's like uh, mixing and sequencing. I just realized that A flat major is the same as C minor. Pretty close, actually. Pretty close. Soul. Okay, so trap soul. Uh, it's all about. Um, it's really the drums is the thing. Um, the drums can make anything sound like anything. Drums and bass, right? Drums and bass can make anything sound like something else because you can have trap drums but they're on like a forum floor and they'll sound dancey. So um, it's really, it's really gonna be your drums, okay? So so like when I think of Trap Soul, I think of um, like the first, oh, like when I say Trap Soul, I'm thinking um, the originator of it, which would be, uh, what's his name? Um, Bryson Tiller. Now you tell me if that's what you're thinking of when you hear Trap Soul. Cause that's what I'm thinking of when I hear trap soul. I'm thinking Bryson Tiller, right? Bryson Tiller, you a Bryson filler, da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Bryson Tiller is what I'm thinking. So like, I would go like something like this. He, him. Let me see something like super hard on this on this on this kick you know what i'm saying something like this something super hard hitting so i was like so bring that guy in so i i will start with that like a simple you know like loop like that and then we just change some of these drums. Then we need like a boom, boom. Cause that's like, that's like everything in it. It says Janice, but I think you're saying maybe Janae. Yeah, you gotta get that, that little double kick in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm, 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 mm. And then over here, we're going to have this guy come in and do this roll. 
do a little roll. But we got to go faster than that, much faster. Like, you know, a little nice little 16th roll here on this guy. Move. So we're going to take our time on building the drums out a little bit. Because the drums are kind of important. And then, um, let me see. I'll switch over so you guys can see more of this. I'm back, but sneakily. It's like too much on the roll. Um, let me bring in the hi-hats real quick. Uh, so for hi-hats, let's go mimic. Right, and we're gonna do a hi hat. Um, let's see if it pulls it up. Hat Summer Walker. And I would say, like, there's like certain. It's like certain hi hats that call you more. I want to make y'all listen to me selecting the hi hat. There it is. That's the one. Woo! I found it. Okay, cool. So we found that hi hat that we really wanted. And then because it has been like the thing that I have been doing, I'm going to add this uh, poly step sequencer to it. And then I'm going to use that to uh, set this to chromatic. And I'm going to use that to, you know, draw in these hi hats. So they need to be slower than that. And draw on these hi hats. So, so, ba, ba, da, da. Okay, so, but you always need variation with that, right? So, I'm going to set this to next because um, we don't want that to be that. We just want these to be this this time around and maybe this one and come back to this guy uh uh change up where this guy is coming in at uh you know you wanna you wanna you wanna uh you wanna play around with these velo not velocities you wanna play around with these pitches with these pitches don't you know play around with these pitches don't let these pitches play around with you all right, that was a little bit out of character, but it, it sounded funny in my head. Not that right there. Um, not this one. We don't want that. T -t 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 we don't want that sound at all. Okay, send to track. Um... Play around with these pitches. So like you could do that bass. You could do that bass, but if you if you use a eight oh eight, it's gonna be better. 
right? So instead of doing that base, we're going to come in here and find an 808, right? Because an 808 would be better. Um, I know it's like interesting because it's like I'm like playing analysts. You guys can't hear them. But I think it's like when I watch live streams and I'm listening to people choose sounds and they're like going through all of their sounds and like doing that. I'm just kind of like, you know, a little distracted. So I just chose not to do that for y'all. I think it might even be a little fast. Yeah, that's a little better, a little slower. I just said the thing I was against and then now I'm doing it. So one thing you want to do with Trap Soul is there's this, uh, it's like a dominant seven or there's this like, um, <clears throat> it's, it's like um, there's dissonance in one of the chords. There's like a lot of dissonance. So I'm gonna pull up this Maelstrom so you guys see what I'm saying. So if I'm playing a chord, if I'm playing this chord, that's just like a regular C minor chord, right? But as soon as I drop that C to the B flat, there's like some dissonance there. And if I drop it further, there's more dissonance there, right? Same chord, I'm just changing in, in this hand. I'm just going down. So that's like scary, right? So there's different ways to play with that. So um, there's different ways to play with it to give you that uh, to give you that sound. Um, but what we need here is uh, yeah. So like I just played one root over here. So this C minor, I just changed the root in my right hand. So still playing the C over here though. And then, you know, you, you just play around with it. So um, I got to I got to create the sound so that you can hear what I'm saying with it, because um, one other thing we want to do is kind of make this pitch up from something. You know, we, we kind of want it to like pitch up. Um, a little faster than that. I went slower, I think. switch for you how 
how did you do that in Maelstrom? Need a close up. Okay, so we're using the mod A. We're using this mod A. If I turn it off, it's just there. So using this mod A, we're going one shot and sync on our time. Sync is for the timing, the rate here. And then one shot just means it's just going to do it one time around and then it'll sustain the note. So if one, side, if one shot's not on, then it kind of make like an arp. So one shot is just so that it goes from one to the next, right? And... Uh, And then we're just gonna kind of play around with that sound because that, that was the sound that I had heard. You know, the pitch kind of going up like that. Did I play that though? I didn't do that. Now for the pitch part, you gotta be like, you gotta look at the volumes, the values, you know, and just play with it until you hear what you're looking for. and hold shift to get to the in between of the numbers okay so here's pitch zero what's pitch one sound like can't really even hear a difference pitch two you still can't really hear a difference there right so so let's go up 10 values I could like just barely hear the pitch changing. We'll go up to 20. So now you can hear. Right. And so you kind of. Until you find the one that you're looking for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mod wheel on for that. So now it'll only do that rise sound when I really want it to. So because this is the uh, this is the chords that I want. Now watch when I when I play the when I play the mod. It's actually kind of cool. Now watch when I play the the mod the modulator on it. So we can find the the groove that we want. Cuz I think it's the first one I want. I definitely want it on that one. Something like that. So now let's uh record that. I like that. Okay, cool. So now we have that where that's at. But this last chord, I think it needs to come in. I think it needs to come in sooner. It comes in like so late. So I'm gonna just pull this guy back like this. Let's pull that guy back like that. All right. So now let's drop those down. Hey. Sustain pedal. That's a sustain pedal issue. 
The notes are bleeding together. I don't want them to bleed together. And then maybe one more. Something like that for the chords. So definitely the chords, you know, are important when it comes to this. Absolutely. So I think it's just it's definitely that. thing that that when i'm thinking about like bryson tiller or like these trap souls they do a lot of like uh in the bass and in this 808 they're gonna do a lot of like you know like uh slides and glides and stuff like that right so we're gonna go I love pitch bending. It's like one of my favorite things to do.
the pitch, the pitch bend that we did there definitely like changes some things, right? Um, I think we. changes some things but yeah um so let's look at this chord you know that we got here we have a c a c b d f so because remember i told you when we first when we first was when we first was looking at it i said you can start with a we can start with a minor chord right let me see i'm trying to pull it up where you guys can see it good Here's our minor chord, and then you could just drop it, right? Until you get until you get somewhere that you like. So we started with this, and we move to this. But if you if you put that C on top, it would be. So. It's about the placement, the placement. So we go. So what is we doing here? It's like a passing chord. And that's what gives it that feeling, you know? See, with the pitch bend, it changes the notes because it's raising, it's raising the notes, those pitches, right? So it's just, you know, but that's the original, the original chords is there. You just got to play around with it from there. That's, that's coming in just like a little bit too quantized. It's too quantized. So we're going to move this up. And then also what we can do is we can pull up our tool window and we can um, play around with the velocity a little bit. So it's a little more, you know, just different. Yeah, I like regroove too. It's too much velocity. Okay. Sometimes I just want like regroove. I always start with all of these. It just the the normal patches that are in there, and I don't want to have to like reset patches and stuff like that. So sometimes I just nudge. I just I just yeah I just nudge like like Chilmo just said. Sometimes I just nudge in the sequencer. I just nudge it a little bit because I I want the quantize. I just don't want it to be like oh it's coming in right boop. Boop, boop. I just don't want it to come in like that. Synchronous lag it. Um. Mm -hmm. 
now the other thing about um the other thing about it is definitely got to have some kind of like vocal sample um and if you could start with a vocal sample if you could start with a vocal sample that would be even better um I went with the instrument route, which is what I typically do anyway. But if you could start with some kind of vocal sample, you know, that would be that would be better for you. I guess is the word I could use. It would be better uh, to be able to start with a vocal sample because a lot of the songs are just, you know, they're just mapped out in that way to be vocal samples. So it would be better for you to have a vocal sample. Uh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. I love that this is essentially just two sine waves. I didn't know y'all could hear that gum chewing like that. My, my bad. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, my bad. I didn't know that y'all could hear that. Okay, well, let's re let's record. Can we, uh, just the way I, we gonna uh, record something real quick uh, into this mimic into this mimic into this mimic into this mimic into this into the mimic into the mimic into the mimic into the into the mimic into the mimic into the mimic into the into the mimic into the mimic
It gets scary how I love you. I really hear like Jacquees. What was I doing though? I was just like all over the place. That one's good. It gets scary. It gets scary. Alvin, is that you?
because of me. <laughs> It, 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 it made me want to get a arcade subscription. How about some Polar? Okay, let's check that out. Polar to Alvin. Well, listen, I like Alvin because I ain't trying to hear it in my voice. That's just scary. That's just scary. <laughs> Getting intense, huh? Yeah, it's safe. It's safe.
we could have did something better than that. We could do something better than that. We could find something better than that. Somebody that could sing better than that. Somebody that could add something in better than that. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if this is gonna. Let's see if it if, if it come back online. Oh, okay, cool. We we back. We back in line. Hey, y'all need to like y'all. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the replay of it. Like, hey, y'all need to just keep keep it real with your boy. Y'all need to let me know, Chris. You, that was loud. I was like yelling. I was all hype. I was all yelling, making all this noise. I was all hype. Y'all need to let me know. So hot is melting the computer. I really think that could be the case. Um, actually, I think it's something with this, uh, with the, um, you, this thing, the camera. It's something with the camera. It's been happening in my OBS. Something about it is making it, uh, something is making it like trip out and like every so often and stop working. 
So then when it stopped working, like it start messing up stuff with my OBS. So basically it got to a point where I'm like doing all this stuff and the computer is like, all right, bro, I quit. I, I mail my check in. I'm done. I'm, I'm clocking out. I'm out of here. Goodbye. And hit the blue screen. I sent it to my, I, I put up, I put the picture up what it, what it said to it sent the blue screen on your boy, man, that was crazy. Okay. But it gets scary. It gets, it, that was scary. Yeah. I better hope I did say I saved it. Oh my God. <laughs> I did say I saved it, but there's no like auto save. There's no like auto save feature to where I know that it was saved. Uh, Is there's no such thing. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about me. I'm getting excited. I'm like, yeah, I'm yelling into this microphone and I'm listening to the stream like, oh, man, I want it to be a nice, pleasant live stream experience for you guys, man. Uh, I, I think I do need to do a scan disc. Um, I know I saved it. I just don't know how far along I say. Oh, here's a Neptune. Oh, okay, cool. So we saved it pretty far. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, Mike said, you can see the, the monitor. I never play with the monitor. I never, I'm always listening with my headphones. So I never play it like that. Um, but just this time, I was like, okay, I want to listen to this track and actually play it. So that's why, you know, I was like, all right, we can, we can listen to it and we can play it. We can listen to it and we can play it. Um, so a couple things that I want to do. So like that, right? Like kick this little snap, little, you know, little something. Cause we were talking about doing like a trap soul thing. So really the main thing is like, like I said, it's the drums, you know, it's the drums and the bass. And then when you get into the chords and stuff and stuff, that's just what, you know, helps you to bring that sound out and we actually did some pretty cool like sound design like that's a custom patch for sure um with this maelstrom patch that's just like a straight custom patch and we started doing some other stuff to it through too as well because at first it didn't sound like that at first it just we could turn off this shaper there's a different sound and then originally See what I'm saying? So like, that's the original sound. We add that guy in there, add the shaper in there.
Come on, let's make a sound pack together. We'll call it Trapped Trapped Soul. There y'all go. Trapped Soul. This is a uh, what is this? A uh, keys? Trapped keys. Trapped soul, trapped keys, trapped keys there. I don't even think I have my, this thing don't work no more. See, yeah, it did all kind of stuff. The MIDI off, look at this, the MIDI off, all kind of stuff is off. Ugh. We're gonna do that. Plug you guys back in. Now it's back. Now it's back. Where does the sustain pedal? I hear it is. Maybe more of a pad now. More of a pad now. More of a pad now than keys. Let's, let's trapped pad. That that sounds. It's very scary. Like when you add that in, but you could just have it like that, and then that's fine. Get crazy, get crazy. I did it again. Y'all supposed to tell me. Y'all supposed to warn. I was supposed. To, I'm supposed to move this. Yeah. I move that. I gotta move that microphone when I get to do a stuff like that. Hey, look at that. Look at look at your boy up in here, Curtis King. What's up? What's up, King? So so so, Curtis King. I appreciate you, man for the super chat my brother that means a lot bro that means a lot to me my bro like that's what's up man also i know we've been you know what i'm saying we've been kind of talking and, and thinking some things you know what i'm saying y'all know that curtis king is like an avid he's like an avid fruity loop user you know what i'm saying and i'm like reason to the core you know what i'm saying i'm like reason to the core and you know when you when you're dope when you're a dope music producer like Curtis King is, a dope music producer, it don't really matter what doll you're using, you know? So I, I'm thinking like one day, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we should swap dolls. Me and Curtis, maybe me and Curtis King can swap dolls and see, you know what I'm saying, and see what we go, you know, see what we can make with that. You know what I'm saying, Curtis? I think, I think the reason, gang, we need to see your skills. We need to see your skills, you know what I'm saying? We need to see your skills on Reason. You feel me? And swap. And I'll go to Fruity Loop and you come to Reason. What you think about that? But no, nah, but for real, I really appreciate that. Reason gives me nightmares. I really appreciate the super chat, man. 
I really appreciate the super chat. I'm trying to get my little, my computer just crashed. So I got to redo all of this live stream goodness that I just had set up. Uh, if I redo it, it should fix and come back, but it don't look like it did. But nonetheless, thank you for the super chat. And yeah, man, don't don't be afraid. Don't don't be scared. Don't be scared. Re it, it, it plays nice. It plays nice. Re reason reason will play nice with you. There it goes. The moment I hit that F hot key and that mixing board digitally flipped around, I walked out the room. Reason FL Studio gives me ulcers. Y'all are funny. I wanted to show this though. Keep being awesome at what you're doing, my friend. Hey, I appreciate you, man. I was just about to get into this. That sound design right there. That's what that's what they that's what the that's what the big bucks is for. When you get get into that sound design right there, you turn that simple sine wave into that crazy little, you know what I'm saying, into this crazy pad. Ah. Uh. just transports you like to a different realm. It's just something totally different about it. What's up, Jay Hart? Kuba uh. from South Africa, what's up? Totally different from what we originally was working on, right? something totally different I don't yeah no I don't yeah, we, we just, let's just we'll just put this somewhere else here we, we could we could put this in here actually I don't even want to do that I don't want to do that either we just save it something else we have to save this as something else we changed this to 110 as well so we can just name this something different um 110 there we go right there uh give me a time 110 uh uh scary scary love don't be scared don't be scared don't be scared don't be scared uh we needed to see that trap soul chill mo yep exactly 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 we needed that I'm, I'm glad they i'm glad they suggested the uh the good old trap soul glad we suggested that now i can get rid of this So then we, we we could like use that as like a little intro, you know, this little without this and something like this. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, gotta get it, man. Yeah, gotta get it, man. Yeah, nah, gotta get it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get it all the time. Gotta get it, man. Yeah, nah, gotta. Mm, 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 mm. I gotta make a, I gotta make a dis discrepancy. I gotta make a disclaimer right now. Oh no, we finna pull up these chords. I gotta make a disclaimer right now. Uh, this is the disclaimer. Like I have rhythm, okay? I I have rhythm. I promise. If it sounds like I'm singing off rhythm, it's because of the microphone and the software. It's not because of me. I have rhythm. OK, so I just got to say that because I know I listen back to it and when I'm listening back. This microphone is delayed. So it make it just sound like I don't have no rhythm. You know, it's definitely a lag there. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there. You know, what I'm saying I don't want people watching and being like, oh, man, this dude, how he making beats and he don't even know how to catch the rhythm. Like, what's he doing right now? Like, this don't sound good, bro. This don't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> this don't sound good, bro. How you, how you, what you doing right now? How you catching the, you can't even catch this rhythm. I promise you I got, I got real. I got to pull up my other microphone so y'all can see. Okay. So here we go. Uh, I appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying? Not saying nothing, but it's okay. I appreciate y'all for, for, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all some real ones for that. I appreciate you. Um, okay, so the chord progression, somebody is asking about chord progression. The chord progression is, but you got to remember that we're doing this pitch. So it goes, it goes. It goes. if we will but the originally is so we're starting on this c right here we're going down to this altered chord which is like a b like this b alter chord don't know what you would call it but it's it's easier it's easier to say it's easier to say what we're doing instead of like the actual names. So we're looking at this chord. If we start here on C, let me take this guy off real quick. If we start here on essentially, yes, C minor to B7, oh, essentially, yes. If we start on C and then we take this uh, C down to an A and then we take this bass C down to a B, you know, it's starting to give you these, you know, these like minor sounding sounds, right? So. So that's what we're doing. So we're actually not starting on C minor. We're actually starting on this chord. And if we were to play that all the way out, it would be a C uh, seventh, C seven. But we're just playing it with a different um a different inversion so c7 but is there's a different inversion there right so that's the idea there so we're playing that and then we're moving down one so top note stays the same everything else moves down one Exactly. And that's just like an easy way to do it. But of course, there are very specific passing chords that you could do like this one coming back to C, right? And it just feels natural to go. It just feel natural to keep going down that road, you know, but, you know, there's different passing chords that you could do.
What is that chord that I did? Oh, okay, that's one. Okay, so if it's um um my favorite piano, uh so if I'm if I'm reason and I'm saying reason um strictly reason, uh then you know process pianos, even going back to our uh original reason piano refills, um that's probably like one of my favorite ones. Uh I'll play with that. That was radical pianos right there. The patch hadn't loaded all the way yet. Come on, sustain pedal. Work with me now. Okay, so, uh, producer pianos but then they have like some preset ones like this upright here um upright this is inside of reason the reason uh the original the og um the og reason piano refill So let's get a little. Um, that now if we're talking vst like strictly vst um and we're not going with reason the one that i have heard that i like the best the two the two that i've heard that i like the best uh both want both for um uh electric piano and for regular piano uh it's got to come from arturia so far a contact has some really cool sounding stuff i've heard other people use like the legend and alicia keys um and they have some really cool you know sounding acoustic pianos um and i would love to be able to play them but i haven't been able to play those but i have played uh these roads I have played these from Arturia. So Arturia has some really nice sounds. So here's the roads. Here's the roads here. I'm thinking like, what can I play? Oh yeah. sounds so electric it sounds like energy is there it sounds like energy is there Thank you. 
So I like them for the electric. And then for the acoustic from Arturia, I like theirs. They have one in this Analog 5. Uh, I was using it a lot, but then I noticed it takes a ton of... Um, um, this VST takes a lot of CPU. So, like, eventually, like, I'll start hearing pops and cracks and stuff that I don't like, so... And I don't know why I liked it so much, but I just did. I don't know, like the first time I ever heard it, I just I just liked it a lot. But there's a keyboard that I like even there's a there's a piano that I like even better. No, that's not true. I, there's a piano I like even better than that uh, Arturia one I just played. Cause there's a reason there's a reason process piano that I like better than that one. Hold on. Reason process piano. And then usually you can find it. It's like rack extensions, process piano. Come on, come on. There you are. And then it's like uh, clean pianos. Okay. I like some of these. I think I like I think I like those even better. I think I like I think I like those pianos even better.
-hmm. and just for something that's like a little different, you know, a little glue. Go to a different, go to a different, uh, a different key, Chris. You're playing C minor a lot, you know. <laughs> Not again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It should be good. I think that was just like a little quick little quick little something that was happening. I think that's it right there. Da -da 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 I, I, Chris, I think he had paused and just came to the meltdown of your PC. I know I'm. It's, I, I'm starting to look. It's, the rack is starting to look like that other rack. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna save this because we have we have this. But I'm hearing something advantageous that I want to do with that piano. So, okay, here, see, it's doing that thing. Okay, so we're going to close this out. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now let's load up a new one. <laughs> hey, if you have uh, been watching the stream, if you guys have been liking the stream, you know, do me a favor, hit that thumb up button for me real quick. Uh, we're going to get started on the next uh, track here in Reason. Um, oh, man. I, I kind of don't want to start with this piano, but da -da -da, but it's what I was hearing. I, I kind of want to start with like fat drums, like <laughs> I kind of want to start with some 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 dope stuff, some dope drums. So it's like it's not like, oh, yeah, this is like some this is some interesting stuff. Uh, Mr. Frosty B sent me something. I should I, I should I should check this out. I don't know if he. Can... So definitely me and Mr. Frosty Beast can sing me some he could definitely oh I like the I like the uh definitely has some nice tones in there. He has some nice tones in there. I'm gonna have to double back to that. I'm gonna have to double back to that. Uh I didn't notice that he had sent me that to my email. Okay, we gotta check that out. Okay, in the meantime, why did I pick my phone up? I picked my phone up to go here. I'm looking at my my TV up here. My TV up here, I can um, also want to just, that light right there is just bothering me a little bit. It's just right there. It's like cool for some ambiance, but it's just kind of, yeah, it's just, yeah, that's better. Yeah, it's just kind of like a weird look. It was too bright. It's too much on me. Yeah, okay, Frosty, he's in here. Yeah, it was for the other one, um, but I didn't see it until like right now. So my bad about that. But we was playing around with this piano, of course. Uh, hopefully I can still get it in. I kind of, oh. Somebody was talking about um, the roads and in, in Reason. 
I think the radical keys. I think they have like a similar thing. Yeah, so something like that. But we're gonna do it with the processed pianos. Da 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 Get the reason plus. And I say get the reason plus. Get the reason plus, man. Just just get the reason plus. Get the reason plus. here's the thing i i think it's i think it i think it definitely is worth it and then when you just look out into the atmosphere and you say what have people been having issues with the most when it comes to you know reason reason studios as practices just whatever you want to look at whatever they have issues with the most and it's like when they buy the full software they are displeased because they're looking for updates they're looking for upgrades they're looking for things that's going to come later or they're looking for things that they're not interested in doing right now but if you like the reason rack if you use other dolls if you need sound packs if you need inspiration with other sounds if you like having the ability to uh have their new instruments without having to pay for them so if you know like reason comes out with like new instruments and new effects and new players and you want those instruments effects and players then you need to go with reason plus if you buy the standalone doll you're not going to get all of that stuff now who's to say that when you purchase a newer version of reason that it doesn't come with some of those things like I could see a world where the next version of reason actually comes with certain players 
um, that you would normally have to purchase or, you know, download from Reason Plus. I could see a world where they come standard with those players. Or I could see a world where some of the instruments that are Reason Purchase exclusive or Reason Plus exclusive, I could see a world where the next version of Reason could have those instruments in it. But I know for a fact and for certain that if you have Reason Plus, you will have access to those things. You see what I'm saying? That's the that's the difference. You might get it in a new version of Reason. Or they say, no, we're not going to do that. You're just going to get Reason, the standard Reason instruments and effects. And then if you want all this other stuff, you want friction. And if you want, uh, you know, process piano, like if you want all these other things that you need to buy them or have Reason Plus. So the re that's the reason why I say for reason plus there might come a time where one of the versions will be will include everything that you could want. And so then because they have everything like you don't need reason plus, but looking at what everybody else is saying, the problems that they have, um, you're going to you're not going to do yourself any good by saying I want to own the program. I want to you're not going to do yourself any good by by doing any of those things. Um, you're going to you're going to you're going to do a lot better by having access to the gear that you want to use, you know, because that's one of the things I want to be able to own the software. Um, and the simple fact of the matter is, is that in terms of software now, like, you know, we I guess we all want to have like a happy feeling when it comes to music. But software in general is not cheap so like i'm a video editor as well so i pay for adobe at one point in time you could buy the software and just have it completely free but then now they move to a subscription you know uh process they move to where it's like oh it's only by subscription so every year you know you got to pay for the subscription for the video editing software. Now you also have on the Apple side, you also have final cut and final cut is like a one time fee. And then every so often when they have newer versions, uh, when they have newer versions, they, um, will, you know, allow you to update and you have to pay the update fee. So certain models of software, it makes sense to either do the subscription or to pay the one-time fee and you know you know that you're going to update when you update i think that reason is showing us that it might be better for us to go with that side of things you know if money is an issue if money is a problem reason plus is not seen is not meant to be something that you know, limits people from having access to reason. It's the opposite. It's something that opens the access of reason to many more people um, because now you actually get a chance to have all of it. You get a chance to have all of it for a lower price. OK. Um, right. Right. I, I get what you're saying, Mike. You know, if you're if you're paying the reason subscription, you're paying 20 bucks, but you can't pay it this month. You know, you know, that could be an issue. That could be a problem. That's why I would keep like different versions on hand. So like right now, if you have like 10 or something like that and you want the newer stuff, you can't open up the files that are from the newer, you know, from Reason Plus, from the newer programs, but you can always open up the older ones with your software. So I get that, but it's almost like, you know, it's also like a, it's also like a, um, it's also like a, um, it's a, uh, what is the word? It's 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 a investment is the word that I'm looking for. Um, I I the first time I like really like invest like I invested I stopped using crack software I stopped borrowing software I stopped borrowing logins it was like Reason Ten I bought my own copy so now I have the own my own copy of Reason Ten I'm totally fine 
with Reason Tan. Um, I didn't need anything else from there. I could do what I wanted to do with Reason Tan and pretty much get away with, you know, my music production with just Reason Tan. I was cool with that. Um, and then they had a sale. It was like, if you buy Reason 11, then you get the upgrade for Reason 12 for free. So now I done jumped from 11 to 12, you know what I'm saying, because I caught the upgrade at the right time. Um, some other people are not as lucky, you know what I'm saying? Some other people are not as lucky uh, to, to catch that. Exact. Okay, that, that says it right there. That says it right there. That's it. That's it. For new users, it's perfect. You have everything you need. Look at the difference between the price of like the full software today and $20 a month. You know what I'm saying? It's just different. It's just different. Especially if you're the, like for me, for Reason 10, I wasn't looking for anything that I could not do already in Reason 10. So I had no need to go to 11 or to 12 because I already was able to do everything that I wanted to do. Some people are different. Some people are like, no, I want to have this. I see that they're able to do this now. I want to be able to do this now. They have certain products, certain programs. I want to have these effects. I want to have these instruments because they are available to me now. Some people are like that. Um, and so that's why I say for those people, Reason Plus would be better for you than buying the full software. For other people, it's like, you no, know, I, I see what this program can do. Reason 12, Reason, you know, Elite, whatever the next name is going to be called. I see what it is. And. I think that's awesome. And so I can do everything I need to do. I'll just buy it outright. And, you know, what I'm saying money well spent and just keep pushing. Um, if you are taking your music seriously and you are able to treat it as an investment, then, you know, it becomes a situation where Reason Plus really helps you because, OK, you pay twenty dollars. You got access to the software. You got 30 days. Say you just do it one day. You got 30 days to make something, to collaborate with somebody, to record a song, to mix a song. Like you got 30 days to do all of those things. And now as you do all of those things in the 30 days, now it's like, okay, have you been able to take that $20 investment and use it to create music or to create a business or to like do something within your business in order to make that money back and pay for it for the next month? That's my that's my whole thing about video editing. Like, that's how I look at it. It's like, ah, oh, this is whack. I got to pay this every month for the video editing software. But it's like, OK, cool. If I get an editing client, if I get this many editing clients, then it's already paid for the software for the year. Right. It's like it's paid for it. If I get this editing a client to you know edit their videos then it's already paid for and it's the same thing with reason um if i can actually you know get out there and make some money from these beats then it's like oh okay cool it pays for itself um let me look at some of these questions i've just been talking and rambling and and going on i was supposed to i was supposed to make the next beat um if you're not sure about it long term online reason plus is good if you know this is going to be part of your money maker, your travel, then you probably want the full and then plus, but at least full. Okay. Um, now I'm thinking reason plus. It might be. Can you talk about how you integrated with my doll? Uh, what's your doll? Uh, what's your doll? What's your doll? Uh, only issue with reason plus is that if your internet goes down, the service goes down, you don't have access to your stuff. It will run like a plugin. It runs like a plugin, correct? Um, let's get more specific. I, I don't know what DAW. I don't know what DAW you're using under my. What DAW? What DAW are you using? All right, you're using Logic. Uh, I don't know why I asked him as if I was going to be able to pull up Logic. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why I asked because I definitely don't I don't have logic on this computer. Uh <laughs> I don't know. Why did I ask that? But anyway, I do have Ableton. 
um why don't you sample i think he's i think are you are you are you saying are you asking me are you asking uh uh why don't people um test out i i'm not 100 percent sure what you're asking uh, it sounds like why don't you ask why don't i sample like as a music producer i just don't i don't know it's not a big sample sample producer i don't know um so I, i'm gonna show you right now what it looks like flat out the plugin is awesome i gotta say you use it like any other vst uh the options for using as instrument or effect rack yeah i i just don't i don't know i don't know not big on those sample library joints where it's like like i'm not big on i don't know something it's something about it's uh uh under my i'm gonna pull it up right now i have i have i have ableton <laughs> i have ableton so on ableton if you have a vst same way you have vst and um logic you know the same way you go to open your vsts like for example here's here's arturia i could just drag that over and it loads up the arturia vst um but the same way you could do that you can also do that with reason rack plugin and this is what it will look like so here's the reason rack plugin it's going to open reason as well um and um, you can actually browse your instruments. You have your browser. It's weird because it's like you pretty much have like the same thing that you have in your regular Reason DAW. It's just you don't have the sequencer in the mixer. So it's kind of like uh, it's just, the, of course, right? It's just the rack part. But it's like as a Reason user, it's kind of annoying, I guess, is, is the word. But nonetheless. Cause I'm like, yeah, now I want to get to the sequencer, but now I got to actually use the sequencer from my DAW. But like, let's just say we have Mimic here. Uh, what's up, Eric? Uh, let's say we have Mimic here. And then let's say, you know, I don't know. Let's just say we, let's say we, uh, let's say we use this real quick. So we have Mimic. Hold on, this always happens. Come on, Mitty. Hold on. Hold on. This is just my MIDI key. My MIDI keyboard is not. Oh, gosh. See, stuff like this. This is why. I... This is why, uh, but see how like in over here, this me, like when you have a MIDI keyboard, you're supposed to just be able to play it. It just literally just not playing on my, um, on Ableton. I'm going to use this other one real quick. I'm going to see if it, if it comes up, if it sends any MIDI data. See, look, this one plays it. Okay, cool. Great. So I don't know. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. It's just literally the MIDI just not working. Okay, so now we have MIDI. And now we have MIDI from Reason. So let's like lay that in there. So we'll just lay that and then play that. But I didn't have my metronome going. Oh, I have I have to actually like do something so that you guys could hear it, right? I didn't I didn't do that part either. Okay, hold on. So um from here, I just need to add in this VST, uh, which is I'll pull this full screen so that you can see what I'm talking about. So uh, to get audio into my OBS, 
I just need to add this VST. Uh, the VST is from, um, it's not a VST3. Uh, I think it's this Rhea plugs and it's this restream. I'm just gonna add it to the master channel and we're gonna hit send audio, local broadcast. And so now we should be able to, yes, now y'all can hear me. Okay, cool. So this is some keys that I play, some keys that I recorded. I guess my biggest question is how do the tracks get recorded? Do I still record from Logic or just Reason Plus? I don't want to go back and forth between Logic and Reason Plus. Right. So 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 let's look at this right. So I got my Reason Rack plugin open. And let's say I'm in Ableton. So in in Logic, it's going to play like a MIDI note. It's going to play like a MIDI VST instrument, but you also have the opportunity to record it in as audio, right? You can just take the the instrument and make it into audio as well. But so like, let's say if we have this here, I'm just going to record it in as MIDI because I'm playing it on my MIDI keyboard and it's just playing it as MIDI, like as a MIDI instrument. So if I want, I can just hit this record. So now it has recorded that in. So when I go to look at this, it's just going to show me the MIDI notes that were played, which was C sharp and F sharp. And then when I go to play them back, play this one, it's still playing in the reason rack, but I could just close it like I don't need it anymore. So it's done. So it's just there, right? It's because it's a MIDI, it's just a, it's a MIDI file, you know? And even if I was to use, cause I know um, Ableton has different, they have different uh, modes that you can choose from. Here's our, our traditional Q mode and or whatever, but I can just uh, add some stuff in here. I want to add some drums. I really like the way that that kick drum sounded. Drum kits. I just I just need a different clap there instead of the one that's there. While we're at it, why don't we give me another hi-hat too? Okay, cool. Let's play that real quick. I hope I'm I hope I'm answering the question. If not, I'm probably just confusing it more. So I have to play it extra fast because I'm going to uh, slow the tempo down. This 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 why this why I use reason. Okay, great. 
So let's use that real quick. Chris, there are also a really good resource on YouTube that talk about integrating reason rank into logic. Awesome. So now let's slow this tempo down a little bit. I'm gonna add another reason, reason rack, like another reason rack. Uh, all together, another reason rack. Mm -hmm. I got this sound fan. I got no 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 sound fan. Dum 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 dum. Got no bank to run. I got no bank account. This Just add another, you know, MIDI, MIDI, uh, a MIDI performance. Let me see, did it record it? It did record it. Okay, here we go. King Willie, what's good? Now I gotta understand why, why this won't, uh, why this won't play. I'm not 100% sure why it won't play. Am I in record mode still? So let's try it again. Here we go. We're gonna try it again. Stop. Move. Move you. So we found we found the we found the playthrough that we wanted. So we just playing it as we just playing it like another uh, another instrument. Okay, but but now I want it to actually play. See, it, this is an Ableton thing though, because it just played it. Doom, 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 do
do on that. Yeah, that ain't it either. Okay, let's delete this. Yeah, because we don't want that. We don't want that. I don't know why Ableton is just not recording where I wanted to record. If you have a MIDI that you're trying to play on the on that track, set it to no input. See how this one played though? See how the first one played though? It played no problem. The notes are here, it's just like it's just not playing. Oh, there it goes. Now it wants to play. I think I'm getting that feeling. I'm getting that feeling that Curtis King was having when he said, when he opens up Reason, like I'm opening up Ableton and it's just like, no, but it's, it's working though. We did what we needed to do. So now watch this. We can add a, uh, we can add this EQ to this. We can add some effects to this bass. It's the same, you know, the same process. So here's our reason rack uh, effect right here. Uh, here's our reason rack plugin. So the reason rack plugin, I got a, a bunch of instances of reason open, basically. No, I, I, I am able to use reason. I just someone had a question about implementing reason into the reason rack with other software so i'm showing how you can do it So let's add another instance of the, you know what I'm saying? But that's what's cool. What's cool is that, you know, if you have the reason rack, you can just add the effects here. So you don't have to like add another effect you know, to, you don't have to add another plugin because you can use all the plugins in one DAW. You can use all the plugins in one rack. So now I can pull up this reverb. I can play this reverb. I think, I think I can play this reverb. Maybe I can play this. Maybe I can't play it. I don't know. Maybe I just said that and I was wrong. Uh, I played it. No, just play it. It came through, it was so great. It, it played, it was so wonderful. But now I want you to play with the rest of it. So I don't know why it does that. Control surface one, reason plugged in parameters. I don't know why it's, I don't know why. I don't know why I won't play. I don't know. It's weird.
Oh man, and I moved it to the wrong file. Yeah, this is what I was saying about like the difference between certain DAWs. Like looking at Ableton, how it has these like levers, like you understand what they do, but they're not real faders. They're just like graphical, you know, like graphic, uh, you know, hey, arrows and, you know, stuff like that. So, but I want to know why it won't play that. It won't play this particular file. No, get out of there. I recorded the MIDI and then it just won't play the MIDI. I don't know why I won't play the MIDI. No, I just won't play it. It's okay, just play, just play the other thing. I'm gonna figure out why it does that. Oh, the clip is just literally unactivated. Okay, I'll show y'all a little quick. Let me let me zoom in real quick. Hold on real quick. So the problem, the problem with this clip, why I wasn't playing, is because when I press zero, it deactivated the clip. See this? That means the clip is deactivated. So now it's playing. Now it's deactivated. See that? So I usually press that zero. I press that zero in reason to stop the track. You just need to press space bar in Ableton. So anyway, here's that little synth that we just laid down. Yes, exactly. So now we're gonna we're gonna add in that synth. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. If it just clicked with me, it clicked with me, and I finally understand why. I it clicked. It just clicked with me. I understand now why some people. Oh, I understand now why some people would like to use reason as an instrument and not the full DAW. It's because, like, look at these different these different racks that I have ready to go. Like that rack is just for that instrument sound. It's just for this. But I still have the capabilities of layering all of those effects and players and all that all that stuff. But it's only for that instrument. So it can just be dialed in. It can come. Oh, I get it now. Okay. You can compartmentalize the different racks and you can have okay boom in your ableton doll you can have a rack for your bass a rack for this a rack for this a rack for this and it has just a little bit more flexibility in terms of like getting to and around things like getting like it's very easy for me to get to this rack and see these sounds and effects versus when i have a rack that's just you know <laughs> floor to ceiling all these different effects i get it i understand i could see why someone who loves it's exactly i could see why somebody who loves reason but wants to use it in other dolls i could see why they would do it is because it really is just like as a sound like as a sound module, as a VST device, it really is just. Hey, so I, that's a point for reason, if you ask me. But I get it because I, I get it now. Like doing it myself, I could see. I could see why. Because I'm like, I feel I feel like I'm I'm more. I feel like I'm more and less bogged down by the reason uh, atmosphere to be able to just go in and just, you know, do some stuff. So I can, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it now.
more cowbell. I didn't want that. But yeah, you can have different players. Bam, 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 bam. Exactly. King Willie said it right there. They're treating a wreck like exactly. So like where we would have a combinator to hold all of that stuff in one. But you got to look at the it's very it's a very complex device. When you look at the combinator and what it is and what it can do, it's still a very complex device. So even having it to where you can just see just the instrument, see like you could just see this is just the instrument and the and the player and then whatever effects that I have with it, um, it just slightly, you know, turns off the complexity here, you know, just a little bit. I, I'm not quite joining you on it. I can see I can see the the uh, I can see the benefit of Reason Plus and of like using the Reason Rack plugin, whereas like some other people might not see it. Like where uh, some reason users might not see it, I can see it, but I still would rather have re the reason doll. I still would rather have the reason doll for sure. Ableton, Ableton pulls me in. Ableton pulls me in because of the Q system. This launch Q system, it, it pulls me in every time. Like I, I like that that you can, you know, press, you know, and you can stop this. Without stopping the music, you could just like take stuff out and add stuff in. I like that. It just makes it more like seamless. Stuff kind of just comes in and goes out as it's supposed to. It just does what it's supposed to do. So I like that. I like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a completely different sound. That's kind of cool. Now, what does this do? Bum, 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 bum.
I like I'm listening to this glitch glitch machines um VST. I haven't been able to use it because it's a VST3. But like just checking it out here in Ableton, it's kind of cool. I kind of want to put that on the drums. It's called a a drum. What's it called? A drum randomizer. Let's hear what it sounds there. Okay, I guess just, just add a little bit of timber, a little color. Swaggy. Frosty Beast, man. Glad to have you come through, bro. This is just Ableton Light. So I'm gonna run out of instruments to use. 
Hey, man, Sasha, head out, man. I appreciate you for coming through, checking out the stream, bro. Hanging out with me. I appreciate you, man. Take care, all right? Till next time. Peace.
Hey, Mike, man, get some rest, my bro. Appreciate you for coming through to the stream, man. Take care. All that good stuff, man. I think I picked a good time to, you know, do the streams. Kind of started off about 10. Because I know it's time for me to give me something to eat. I ain't had nothing to eat yet. I ain't saved this yet. I never saved this yet. Yeah, man, that's how you can use uh, Ableton and Reason Rack plugin to, you know, make some dope. Bum, 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 bum. Super dope. But yeah, Ableton is um Ableton is dope. It, it can get the job done. It's one of those um it's like a it's like a a distant relative. You know what I'm saying? It's a distant relative. I think I made this last time I was in here. definitely like a cousin it's like a cousin like a like a relative you know <laughs> it's like a relative of reason uh what was happening in here i must have been this is it's just so you say, i don't have very many i don't have very many ableton uh I was going crazy in here, I see. They've been good together since the days of Rewire. The whole reason Rewire and Reason was a feature back in the day. I think I used Reason and Rewire once, I think, with uh, Logic and once with Fruity Loop. Then I just got to the point. I just said, I just, I just started asking myself. I just said, why, why am I doing the whole re rewire situation? Like, why am I doing it? And it was like, oh, because you like this about reason. So was like, well, then let's let's just keep using reason. Then I don't understand why we, why we, why we making this harder on ourselves. 
if we like if we like reason, why not just keep using reason? So I told myself to just keep using reason. Uh, 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 uh. The reason I had no MIDI in. So now, now I'm back over here. Um, I'm gonna mm, switch back to this other keyboard. Not that I'm in reason. Right, gotcha. Sometimes when you you're limited, you're limited to do some things, causes you to uh, when you're limited to do some things, causes you to revert to, you know, some other things. That makes sense. I need like some I need some better sounding drums, and then I need to like create like a full like set of the drums and like actually like use them. I feel like I'll use like a few drums and then I'll just kind of move on. But it's just the drums. The drums is the thing. The drums is the thing. Right, like record, record made it like where it was capable for you to actually like record audio, and like that was like a big thing. But like really, we needed to be able to do that without having like a whole nother DAW, which is great. Which is why they you know implemented the record features into the rest of the doll Oh Give me a hi hat So they 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 took their time with it though, huh? All right, Frosty man, be safe, bro. Set my phone on nine percent.
Start with the melody. that again you can record it Chris. You, you, you won't forget it i promise you won't you just forgot it all right here we go
It's one of them like mistaken identity type beats. Hold on. I just like building my own little sounds for some reason.
totally different. It's a totally different vibe. Okay, that's right. I like that. Run that. Run it a couple of times. that 
sound. Might take that sound out.
change up this bass. Mm. 
two different beats at this point. different beats Chris
So that's one beat. And that's a whole nother beat. All right, I gotta go, y'all. I gotta get out of here. Woo. I don't know why I put these glasses on. <laughs> oh, man. I think that worked, though.
this is this is why polar this is why polar is still the best this is like it, it polar is the best reason effect ever created because of its ability to do stuff like that because of his ability to do stuff like that and just give you a whole no a whole nother totally different vibe you know that has to be why that has to be why it will you know just forever be that because that is something else man that's something else right there so let's listen And I'm hearing and I'm hearing a piano change too. So I'm finna do that too. So it goes. Mm -hmm. And then this needs to go down. This needs to go down another semitone. This needs to go down. But I like that. I like I like the medium. Just slows it down. It's just a little slower. It's just playing it a little slower. And I like that because it just gives it a different vibe. I like that. We're gonna play that out real quick. Let me play this out. Uh where we at? Play that out. That too, that's dope. Super dope, but not that. We're gonna play this one actually. Thank you. 
So that's definitely the kind of like stuff right there going to blow my speakers out. But you know what I'm saying? At this point in time, we want to say thank you everybody that came through to the stream. We have been streaming since 10 a.m. this morning. It is time for us to check out and um, man, be up out of this thing. Um, definitely want to say shout out to everybody that came through to the stream. Raging Oracle, Chill Mo, Mike. Raging Oracle again, Mr. Frosty Beats. Um, Sasha also came through to the stream, um, as well as Curtis King uh, dropping the super chat, man. Really appreciate that. Uh, definitely helps to support the channel, man, and what we're doing. Uh, Chris Joshua as well. Um, and we also had uh, up in this, uh, up in the chat, we um, had Kuba. Never, never seen that person. Somebody new, but good to have you, Jay Hart. Good to see you again uh, in this thing. Uh, King Scar, um, stupid name generator. I remember him from last time. It was an interesting name. How can you forget it? A Major Keys came through. Mike Romando, uh, Undermine Audio. Really appreciate you guys for coming. Uh, Raging Oracle, uh, Stephen Gomez. We appreciate you guys for coming through to uh, the stream. King Willie. Uh, man, one of these days, like I said, we're going to have it where it's just set, where we can see everybody's name. We can see everybody that came through. Uh, so with that being said, um, new videos coming to the stream, new videos coming to the channel, new tutorials cooking up, new um, sound packs and, and drum sounds and VST um, patches and, and things like that. Uh, for members of our channel, you uh, get exclusive content, exclusive live stream, exclusive videos, as well as exclusive downloads. If you are a member of the channel, just hit that join button and you can join the membership of the channel and you can get access to free downloads of loops, uh, sounds, sound packs, samples, uh, anything that I cook up that I give out. You can have a free download link to that right away. Uh, as soon as you join the membership, it's in the membership tab on the community so and of course joining the membership helps to support the channel um other than that man i appreciate you guys for you know hanging out with your boy as we cook up some stuff we're gonna keep you know making these beats and and mixing them and doing what we need to do to package them and repurpose them so that you know we can put them out there but in the meantime we're just gonna keep having fun man so i hope you guys enjoyed this one with that being said i will catch you on the next one until then Peace.